computer science videos here today to show you guys in tutorial how to create a basic signature on the new Microsoft Outlook using a Mac computer. Without further ado, let us start the video. So on the tutorial, you need to have access to a Mac computer, have access to the desktop application Microsoft Outlook. We cannot start the tutorial. Before I start this tutorial, I would like to say that you are more than welcome to subscribe to my channel, Computer Science Videos, as we know every problem is solved by indirection. You can also follow my Twitter account. We are trying to grow as fast as ever. I'm on TikTok. We post videos here and there. Follow my page on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram. You are more than welcome to support me on PayPal. Let's now focus on the video. So now let's go down to the dock. Go to Launchpad, go to the desktop application, Microsoft Outlook. Search for this. Enter to open up the application. Wait for that to load. Once it has loaded, you may have noticed that you have been migrated to the latest version of Microsoft Outlook. So we can now compose an email. Let's now go to the top left corner of the screen where it says new email. We can either create a new email, event or contact, but we will look to create an email by clicking on this. Now, what we will do is add a recipient, which will be computer science videos, business at gmail.com. Let's type that in now, click on this, double click to confirm that it is being sent to the Gmail account. The subject will be signature. Let's now compile an email, DSCSV. Thank you for your email. Kind regards. And now what we will do is type up a brand new signature, which we will then add to our signatures. So when it comes to inserting, all we need to do is click on a couple of buttons and we will have that signature inserted and then we'll no longer be required to constantly keep typing out that signature. So. This is from the admin. Let's add a mobile number as well as our email. So that is admin at computer science videos.com. We can then bring in an image if we need to. So let's move to another desktop, go all the way around to the doc, go to finder. Go to my YouTube channel, find that logo, right click, copy, move to the desktop, paste. Quick finder, go back to our Microsoft Outlook. Decrease the size of this, drag and drop that image in. And now reduce the size of that image itself. So the signature itself has been created. We will now copy the full thing, right click. Let's just cut. Go to signature, go to manage signatures. Let's now create a signature for the admin. Let's now paste that signature here. We will need to add the image. Let's go to picture from file. Take that photo from the desktop and there we go. Decrease the size of this. Let's now change the signature name to admin. Click on save. Close out of this and there the admin signature has been inserted. We can now close out of this. Let's now insert the signature from the created signatures by clicking our signature, admin, and there we go. So we can now send this email to our Gmail account. That email has been sent. So let's now minimize our look for the moment. Now let's go down to the dock, go to Launchpad, go to the alternative web browser, Google Chrome. Enter to open up the web browser, go to Gmail, and there we have that email sent from the admin, which says DSCSV, thank you for your email, kind regards, and then we have that signature that we created and added to our signatures as part of a shortcut, so then we do not have to keep on physically typing in that signature every time we send an email. We can just use a shortcut, clicking on signatures, then clicking on admin, and we will have that inserted all the time. So let's now quit Google Chrome. Now let's go to the doc, go back to Microsoft Outlook. Let's now quit Outlook. And so that's it for this video. 
I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks for now. Thank you for making it towards the end of the video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Computer Science Videos. Be sure to check out the previous video on screen now, or you can ideally click on the playlist and watch all the journey for Computer Science Videos from the start until now.